What's good y'all, it's boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I've been wanting to talk about this video and especially what happened on this week's SmackDown. Dominic came out there with the rest of Judgment Day and I'm not gonna lie to you, the reaction Dominic got before he could say any word was just amazing. The nuclear heel heat he was getting reminded me of the time when Roman Reigns had beat The Undertaker and it was the Raw after WrestleMania and he couldn't even get a word in for about 10 minutes straight. That was the same type of feeling I was getting reaction-wise from that crowd. Dominic couldn't say a single word on this week's SmackDown and that was fantastic. I want y'all to understand the comparison of where Dominic was when he was teaming up with his father during the pandemic era and stuff like that to where he is now and i wanted to talk about this video because his growth character wise in ring wise confidence on the microphone is is great and i hope they continue that when dominic came in it was a good feel moment because we hadn't seen dominic in so long uh, on a uh, wwe television so to see him with his father and and they're doing their tag team thing you know it was a good field moment initially but dominic didn't really have any personality like all people saw him as is ray's son that's just what it was and it was cool for a little bit but you, you didn't really you didn't get that sense of personality from him uh, hit the most noticeable moment is when uh, he was getting torn up by them kendo sticks by uh, um, by Seth Rollins or whatnot. He was getting tore up when Seth Rollins was feuding with Ray. And then another noticeable moment is when Dominic was thrown. Uh, it was during the pandemic era. He was getting he got thrown out the ring by Roman Reigns because uh, Ray was feuding with Roman Reigns at the time. So and then another noticeable moment is when he was getting beat up by Brock Lesnar it's like that was Dominic's noticeable moments when he was teaming with his dad when he was aligned with his dad was him getting beat up and that was it his in-ring moves were kind of still rusty kind of well not rusty but they were you could tell he's very green he didn't seem fluid and smooth in the ring and of course that's gonna take time you know but at the same time you knew he was trying to, you know he was getting that rub because of his father and, and there's nothing wrong with that but no one cared people love ray people love ray ray is goaded it's just no one really cared about dominic and when they turned him heel and when he turned on his father and aligned himself with the judgment day that's when things took off to the point where they have been building this, this has been a slow build Ray has been refusing to put his hands on his son, but Dominic's been very disrespectful at every chance. It even got to the point where Ray moved to SmackDown because he just didn't want to do this with his son anymore on Raw. The harassment, the disrespect, he just couldn't take it no more. So he moved to another brand only for Dominic to come to that brand and cause some more chaos right before WrestleMania. And it was so good how they slow built this because Dominic just kept going, kept going, kept going. He kept being annoying. He kept being disrespectful to his dad. And what works is they're playing to his strengths. He's not the best in the ring. He's still trying to get it together and that will take time, but they're playing to his strengths. He's feeding off the other group members in judgment day. They have his back. He's a chicken shit heel. That's exactly what he is. And the great thing about those type of heels is they will do whatever it takes to win. They will sit up there and, and when they're in a disadvantage or in a situation where they look like they're about to lose, they'll plead, they'll beg, and then someone will bail them out. Hence, Judgment Day. They'll bail him out. And then when he gets this this. Horrible victory, horrible win that he didn't earn. He's going to talk trash like he did. But if he does lose, he's going to be playing the victim role. It's perfect. There's different type of heels. There's heels that can go out there 
and beat the crap out of you you know what i'm saying but they also like to cheat every now and then but they they can go in the ring and then there's heels like him he's not all there yet in the ring he'll run away from you he'll he'll hit you with a cheap shot he'll talk trash when he's winning but when he's losing he backs away that's perfect it fits him perfectly and ever since they turned him heel and they've just been doing this slow build with him and his father it's been fantastic at one point in my opinion and i think it's starting to change as of late he was definitely one of the top heels in the company because he's been consistently been getting that reaction since he's turned heel it's just been amplified even more and then you've got michael cole who's going in on him on commentary like he despises him he is literally the voice of everyone at home and it works so this past week on smackdown that reaction he got those type of boosts and he's been getting those type of boosts he got th that type of reaction at wrestlemania great match with his father he didn't end up winning but he's the one person that people i think will pay to see get beat up and the reaction he got this friday night was fantastic like i said i haven't heard that type of reaction that type of heel heat from from a crowd since like roman reigns defeated the undertaker in that monday night raw after it was great it was great honestly honestly he got more heel heat than Roman got when he came out there on this week's Monday Night Raw. Because there's still people that love Roman. There's still people that, that put the ones up for Roman. So, in my opinion, I said it on the live stream. I think he's the number one heel in the company. I honestly do think Dominic Mysterio, it's crazy to say this, in 2023, he is the number one heel in WWE. I'm actually trying to think, is there any heel that's bigger than him? I don't know. Maybe. Well, nah, I can't even say Brock because people still like Brock even though he destroyed Cody, you know. But <clears throat> honestly, I think it's Dominic, bro. He gets that. No one's cheering for him. People will cheer for Brock here and there. People will definitely cheer for a Roman. You know, sometimes people, you know, you know, Solo is a good heel. He doesn't really say much, but I think that's just by association. I don't think he gets those type of boos you know he's more of like a, an enforcer if i if i have to be honest i think dominic may be the best heel in wwe right now the reaction he constant he doesn't get mixed reaction is straight when he comes out he talks on the microphone is nothing but boos no one cares to hear him and people love that people love to hate dominic and i think that's a perfect thing that they got lined up here so, yeah, man, it is great to see Dominic come from where he was with his father with the babyface gimmick to where he is now. He is starting to become his own man. He's not, oh, that's just Ray's son. No, he's Dominic now. He has embraced the, the him being a, a, a hardened criminal. He's embraced Judgment Day. He is, if outside of Rhea, Dominic is probably the best part of Judgment Day. It's Rhea and Dominic. They make Judgment Day what it is. They give Judgment Day that extra heel factor. Rhea, people like her, so they're going to cheer her. You know, they'll cheer her, but boo her when they need to. Dominic, nobody likes him in the crowd. Everyone wants to boo him, and it's great. It is fantastic. If he can get a little bit better in the ring, which I do think time will tell, and he's got, he's gotten more confident on the microphone, I think, honestly, I think we may have something big here. It just depends on how they continue to book him. They need to continue this. He needs to stay where he is right now because he is doing... He, WWE doesn't really have a big top heel. He's their biggest heel in the company, without a doubt. There's no... There's no... after, Especially after last uh, um, SmackDown's... Uh, that whole segment on SmackDown, there's no denying it. So comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys enjoying uh, Dominic's heel work, his heel run? Are you guys enjoying it? Um, what what else would you like to see more from Dominic? Do you think he should become a mid-card champion sometime this year? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel, Road to 150K, and I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. 
Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.